welcome to another video. So this video I'm going to be showing you how to make some gingerbread and some milk chocolate cookies. This is also a collab with all the other DCCs and all the recipes you'll be able to find in the blog article below. And one of them did something different this year. Let's have a look. Right, welcome to my section of the digital content creator Christmas menu. Um, so here is something that I made earlier. Um, and then you only need two items for this, and this is this, and this right here. Hiya, is that Bargy Fresh? Yeah, can I have a chicken tea for masala please? Um, yeah, I'll have a pillow rice and a naan bread. Okay, great. See ya, Merry Christmas. So to start, we're going to be making the gingerbread. So I've got my mixing bowl here and I also have my scales here. So I'm just going to measure out everything that we need for this and then I'll tell you what we need. So you're going to need 350 grams of plain flour. And then after that, you want to just pop it in your bowl. You want one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda. You want two tablespoons of grounded cinnamon. You also want the same from ground ginger as well. Next up, you want 175 grams of light, light brown soft sugar. the sugar just yet so just put it to one side and we'll add that later. I am weighing all the dry ingredients first before we do all the wet ingredients as well so I don't have to rewash my bowl out. So next up you've got your butter so you can have salted or unsalted butter for this I've got lightly salted butter so you're gonna need 125 grams of butter. So what you want to do is add all your dry ingredients together, pile the sugar, and then add the butter and mix it together until it feels like the crumbs. So if you've got a food processor, you can put it in there, but I like using my hands. Make sure you've washed your hands as well. Mine are clean. I've just turned up, took off my ring so nothing gets stuck in there. So next up, you want to you're going to want to stir in your brown sugar. And I just got it everywhere. So it should be a nice consistency now of breadcrumbs. And sorry that I keep bending down because how I've lit, how I've uh, fixed the camera on the tripod is I've uh, done a bit too much low. So now is where it gets a bit sticky and a bit messy, okay? So I'm just going to go wash my hands because I've got flour and everything on them and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so for this bit I'm going to use a separate bowl to mix it all with and then we're going to add it to the mixture. So you're going to need one medium egg. And here where it gets messy. So you're going to want four tablespoons 
of golden syrup. And as I said, it's gonna get very messy. <laughs> So that was two. Three. And it will be easier if you just get it all off the spoon. Right, I'm gonna go and wash my hands. So what you're going to want to do now is beat the egg with the syrup. Obviously if you have a food processor you'll be able to just bash it in there but I like doing the old fashioned way. And you want it until it makes a nice consistency just like that. So what you want to do now is make a well in your dry ingredients and pour the egg and the golden syrup into it. Make sure you get all of it in there. Okay. So this is where some people may want to use the food process because you're going to mix it all together but as I said I like doing it the old fashioned way and this is going to make the dough now so let's watch you want to just keep doing it until it forms the dough And then you're going to want to put it on a counter to roll out. So I'm going to move to the counter behind me as I'm using a tablecloth. <laughs> So what you want to do now is, when you've got it to a nice smooth consistency, wrap it in cling film and stick it in the fridge for 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that now, tidy up, and when it's chilled, we'll move on. While it's chilling, we will move on to make the milk chocolate chip mixture. So, while the gingerbread is chilling, we're going to move on to the chocolate chip malted milk chocolate cookies now. So for this, I've used milk chocolate chips and white chocolate drops as well. So firstly, what you're gonna need to do is measure your wet ingredients and your dry ingredients. So you're want, gonna want 150 grams of golden caster sugar. To the sugar, you're gonna want to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. You're going to also want 200 malt drinking powder, so I'm going to measure it out and put it in a separate bowl so you can add it to the main mixture later. You're also going to want 300 grams of plain flour and add that in. I'll try not to get it everywhere. You can sift these if you want, I just choose not to because I feel like it gives more of a home feel about it. Next, you want to measure out 150 grams of butter and add that to, excuse me, the golden cast sugar and the vanilla extract. So next up, you want to mix all these together until it makes a nice smooth consistency and then add your flour and your malt, malt powder. So I'm going to do that right now.
put it all down my jeans. So after you've added all the ingredients and done that, you want to make a well and add two eggs one at a time. So next up you want to split your dough into half, this is what I'm doing and I'm going to add milk chocolate chips to this one and we're going to make it into a dough so it's really sticky so you might need someone to help you with this. the gingerbread now so after you've let it chill for about 10 to 15 minutes you want to get it out you want to flour your surface that you're using and you want to roll it out till it's about 0.5 centimeters deep I think it is give a take while that's doing you might want to preheat your oven to 108 degrees that's four degrees that's four gas mark four <laughs> so I'm gonna roll this out now So next up you want to cut out some little, well I've got Christmas trees as it's Christmas, so you just want to cut loads out and put them on grease proof paper on your baking trays. So the first batch is ready to be done, so I'm going to put them in the, in the oven now and you need to keep them in for about 10-15 to 15 minutes or until they start going nice crispy brown but don't open the oven otherwise you'll ruin them. So let's put them in the oven. So I've took them out of the oven now so this is what they look like out of the oven. If I can just show you. That is what they're like out of the oven. So I'm going to move them to the cooling rack now. Oh. There we go. I'm going to move them to the cooling rack that I've got over there and we'll see what they're like when they go hard. So now all the gingerbread is cooling on the cooling rack, I'm going to move on to the malt chocolate cookies. So I'm going to start with the milk ones, but there's white chocolate as well, but the, the method is exactly the same. So you're going to roll it out with flour into like about that size, I think. And then for this, I am going to make little snowmen. Now I don't know how they're going to turn out because obviously the cookies are going to expand, but we can have a go. So, let's try. So these have been chilling for half an hour now, so you want to make sure you get them out of the fridge and then probably leave them to stand for a few minutes before you start kneading them and doughing them again.
time it's the exact same temperature as the gingerbread and they take just enough just as long as time so between 12 to 15 minutes for both the gingerbread and the malted chocolate chip cookies and on 180 degrees that's for um 180 degrees <laughs> gas mag for sorry i always forget that So here are the finished products. We have the gingerbreads here, and we have the milk chocolate cookies there, the just snowman, and the white ones there. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next on another DCC video. If you want all the recipes, they will be in the blog post, which will, I will be doing, and I will be putting these in as well. There might be another few recipes hidden in there somewhere. So from all the DCCs, Merry Christmas and a happy new year and we'll see you in the new year with some amazing content.